Good morning, friend of mine. I am Pastor Hugh McKenzie, a pastor from the Seventh-day Adventist Church. A happy day to you and your loved ones. Every morning we share two chapters from the audio Bible narrated by Alexander Scorby and a devotional from one of the chapters shared. May you be spiritually blessed and refreshed as you listen. Please share the presentations so that someone else may be blessed. May God continue to bless you and your family as you listen every day. God bless you. The Book of the Prophet Isaiah, Chapter 41 Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east, called him to his foot, gave the nations before him, and made him rule over kings? He gave them as the dust to his sword, and as driven stubble to his bow. He pursued them, and passed safely, even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. The isles saw it and feared. The ends of the earth were afraid, drew near, and came. They helped every one his neighbor, and every one said to his brother, Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smootheth with the hammer, him that smote the anvil, saying, It is ready for the soldering. And he fastened it with nails, that it should not be moved. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places, and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shittah tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together, that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this, and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things, what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them, or declare us things for to come. Show the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods. Yea, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. Behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of naught. An abomination is he that chooseth you. I have raised up one from the north, and he shall come. From the rising of the sun shall he call upon my name, and he shall come upon princes as upon mortar, and as the potter treadeth clay. 
Who hath declared from the beginning that we may know, and before time that we may say, He is righteous? Yea, there is none that showeth. Yea, there is none that declareth. Yea, there is none that heareth your words. The first shall say to Zion, Behold, behold them. And I will give to Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. For I beheld, and there was no man, even among them, and there was no counselor, that when I asked of them could answer a word. Behold, they are all vanity, their works are nothing, their molten images are wind and confusion. Our text for meditation is Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 25. The Bible says, As thy days, so shall thy strength be. As thy days, so shall thy strength be. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 25. Today's message is entitled, Strength for Today. Strength for Today. Let us pray, loving Father, we thank you so much that you are there to take us through each day. We ask now that your Holy Spirit will help us to understand this message for Christ's sake. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord has given us the assurance of his grace that is for us now, today. We say that again. God has given us the assurance of grace, divine energy, power to live right. The Lord has given us assurance of His grace that is for His people now, today. The promise in our text, as thy days, so shall thy strength be, is not that we will have strength today for a future emergency. It is not that anticipated future troubles will be provided for beforehand, before it comes to us. Rather, we may, if we walk by faith, expect strength and provision for us as fast as our circumstances demand it. That is why Jesus counsels us that we should pray, give us this day, give us this day our daily bread. Every day we pray for today's strength. God promises in Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So, friend of mine, we live by faith, not by sight. God's arrangement is for us to ask him for the very things that we need. He says in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. And so the grace of tomorrow will not be given today. Man's necessity is God's opportunity. Yes, my brother, my sister, your necessity is God's opportunity to show you His love, His care, and His power. And so the grace of God is never given to be squandered, though to be misapplied or perverted or to be left to rust with disuse. God's grace, God's power is never given to be squandered, to be misapplied, to be perverted, to be left to rust with disuse. But while we are bearing daily responsibilities in the love and fear of God, as obedient children, walking in all humility of mind, strength and wisdom from God will be given to meet every trying circumstance. God's promise to us is Psalm 91 and verse 15. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. We are not to be able to meet the trials of this time without God. We will not be able to meet the trials of this time, this century without God. For the Bible clearly tells us in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And so we are not to have the courage and fortitude of matters of old until we are brought into the position they were in. 
Rather, we are to receive daily supplies of grace, divine power for each daily emergency. Thereby, we grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if persecution comes to us, if persecution comes to us, if we must be enclosed in prison walls like John for the faith of Jesus and the keeping of God's holy law, God promises at that time, as thy days, so shall thy strength be. Should there be a return of persecution, there would be grace, power given to every believer to arouse every energy of mind and body to show a true heroism, trusting in God until the end. Oh, friend of mine, we are to keep close to the source of our strength every day, day by day. And when the devil comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God, the Bible says, will lift up a standard for us against the enemy. The promise of God is sure that strength shall be proportioned to our day. We may be confident for the future only in the strength that is given for the present necessity. And so for the believer in Jesus, the experience in God is daily becoming more precious. And so friend of mine, do not borrow anxiety for the future. Do not worry about tomorrow today. Do not borrow anxiety for the future. It is today that we are in need. And the Lord is our helper, our God, and our strength in every time of need. We are reminded in Psalm 46, reading from verse 1, verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, God is our refuge. In other words, friend of mine, whatever you are going through right now, God is your refuge. And if you haven't accepted him and his power and his grace and his forgiveness, he can be your refuge. Just fall on your knees today and say, Lord, you might be a Hindu or a Muslim or a Baha'i or whatever religion, but you need Jesus, my friend. Fall on your knees and say, Lord, I hear about you, I read about you. And I'm asking you now to come into my life and make me a child of heaven. And God will make you a follower of Christ, a Christian. And the Bible says, when Jesus came, he says, I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, you think you have life? Now, come out from wherever you are, whether Hindu or Muslim or Baha'u'llah, and serve Jesus. And friend of mine, you will discover life with new meaning new joys and you will have a peace in your heart that the world cannot give and other forms of religion cannot supply the bible says salvation is only through jesus and jesus alone acts 4 12 says neither is there salvation in any other name friend of mine today i recommend to you jesus christ jesus christ jesus christ let us pray loving heavenly father Thank you so much for your word today. Bless that person who has put aside the time to hear your word. Give us grace to serve you and help us to claim your promise. For as thy days, so shall thy strength be. And may we experience your strength today and always is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.